Hey, Kara. Hey, Christine. Hey, Lily. Lily, are you in school? I'm doing good, Christine. How are you? Today we're going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to do uh, some card readings and uh, try out my dowsing rods. Hi, Wendy. You're welcome, Christine. Oh, you have free time. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Christine, did you want to get on the list right away? You'd be the first one. Let me turn this TV off. Okay, Christine. Okay, Wendy. <laughs> hey, Jamie, how are you? Hey, Kelly. Joy, how are you? Okay, Jamie, awesome. Hey, Katrina. Hang on, let me turn this TV off. It's raining out, guys. So depressing. Hey, Shannon, how are you? Yeah, so I was sitting here cracking some pecans, and this is what I got so far. <clears throat> no, I did not see that, Wendy. Snowed a lot in Massachusetts. Woo -wee. I'm glad we ain't got snow, but we got rain. Yucky rain. <laughs> Everybody, make sure you hit the uh, that like button there. And if you're new, please. Hit subscribe and that little bell button to let you know when I'm going live or release another video. Huh, snow, snow, snow. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I'm not getting snow here, guys. I was talking to Katrina and she says she wants to come down and visit me. What do you guys think? I think it'd be pretty awesome. Hey, Susan Taylor, how are you? <laughs> yes at a thousand subscribers i am doing giveaways yes that is correct and living with lila is my youngest daughter so let's get that thousand up there guys share with all your friends Get your friends and family to subscribe. Hey, Leslie, how are you? Hey, Anna, there's my other daughter. Yes, Shannon, I will put you down. Let's 
So yeah, it's raining here, guys. It kind of put a damper in what I wanted to do. Susan, you went on? Okay. Um, put a kind of a damper in what I wanted to do because I found this really cool, creepy cemetery. And I really want to go there and I can't do it when it's raining, so. Awesome, awesome, Leslie. So I have five people on my list so far, guys. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. See if it stops raining and, you know, when it rains down here, like if it rains for a long time, a lot of water builds up, so. Oh my goodness, Susan. <laughs> Wow. Oh, Katrina. Oh, Katrina. Katrina. Uh, Kara saying hello. <laughs> it's cold in Dallas. Oh. Wow. Well, I'm just going to jump in to start and to read. Um, I got Christine Brown, Wendy Alva, Joy Waybright, Shannon Steele, and Susan Taylor. So I'm going to start reading if my mods can keep up with if uh, somebody says they want a reading, if you can write their name down and let me know uh, in between my readings of who I need to put on my list. All right, Christine. So yeah, I wanna try out my dowsing rods today too, guys. I'm not gonna do no spirit box because as you know, I do not do spirit box in my house. Yes, you should, Kara. All right, Christine. I usually like to do spirit box for you guys, but yeah, I'm. Just won't do it in my house. And I am sitting in my family room right now. Hey, Carol, how are you? Did you want to make the list, Carol? Kelly, you want on? Okay. Okay, Leslie. Leslie, okay. Hey, Jessica Ann. Jessica Joe Ann. Oh, no, not the flu. Make sure you hit that like button, guys. And if you're new, please hit that subscribe button also. All right, Katrina. All right, so I'm gonna start off with uh, Christine Brown. Okay, Christine. Your card is study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn whether it's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. This card is your sign that, yes, it's time to commit to a period of new learning and study. Spirit is telling you how vital it is to never stop growing and challenging yourself throughout life. Your ability and desire to work, 
to work towards a goal will not only expand your mind and consciousness, but also help you grow as an individual. New learning and study comes in many ways and forms. For example, you may want to enroll in an evening course or take out or take out of your busy schedule to attend a full week's workshop, whether it's something purely practical and more spiritual. This card is Spirit's way of saying the moment is here and you're ready to expand your mind. So whether it's a book that you've been meaning to study or that class you wanted to go to, start today and take this card as confirmation that the timing is right. Then watch the ways in which your life changes and grows with new learning. By expanding your mind, a whole new direction or path may unfold with boundless opportunities. That was Christine's card. That's actually a pretty good card. Yeah, right? Uh, yeah, I think you, yeah, I think I pulled that for you before also, Christine. Wow. It must be right. You're welcome. Okay, Wendy, you're up. <laughs> it's a sign, Christine. It's a sign. Thanks, guys. You know, I just out of the blue pile I never polish my nails and I've had some that broke so <laughs> I like it I thought I'm gonna pick up a couple nail polishes and polish my nails <laughs> okay Jessica I can tell you that this is a remembrance tattoo for my mother who died of breast cancer in 2010. <laughs> All right, Wendy, here we go. Animal Kingdom. Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. At this moment, they have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul. Spirit has presented this card to you to make aware that the animal kingdom is beckoning to you. Have you been thinking about animals lately or have you acquired a new pet? Have you considered volunteering at a shelter or... Are you noticing that regardless of if they have fins, feathers, fur, or two legs or four, animals are entering your life? Animals offer us unconditional love and encourage us to play and to live life to the fullest. They help us let go of the past to remember that each moment is a new opportunity to make every day count and most important to be in the here and now. Whether, you're, whether you've owned an animal have one now, cared for one, or simply have a relationship with one. Always know that by loving and taking care of God's creatures, in, re in reality, you're taking care of yourself. Be open to the idea of letting the animal kingdom come into your life. They could possibly be your teacher and healer, and you never know what beautiful lessons and love await you. That was Wendy Alva's card. That was a good card. You like animals, Wendy? Hello, Kelly. All right, Joy. You're very welcome, Wendy. Joy Waybright. All 
right, Joy. You're coming up. Just trying to get a feeling for your card. Awesome, Wendy. Thank you, Cindy. It's awesome. Oh, there it is. Okay, Joy. Stand your ground. Standing your ground and is empowering confidence building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. This card is proof that no matter how much you're being tested, pushed, cajoled into doing something, you generally know is not for your higher good. It's okay to stand your ground and push back. Don't waver, don't give in, and don't lose sight of what's waiting for you. Remember the outcome that you know is right for you may not be what others think is the best for you. This card will provide the strength to believe in your own integrity, your own self-worth, to help you remain clear and focused to defend what you believe and know to be right. With the conviction of that belief comes an ample supply of energy so that you can stand tall. You don't need to com compromise or surrender and give up the control you hold dear. That was Joy's card. Stand your ground, Joy. Put your foot down. Oh, you hear the dog? Yeah, she just came in from outside, so she's like panting hard. <laughs> she was out there playing. That was an awesome card. Shannon Steele, you're next. Oh, there it is. I did, Katrina. That's really nice. Hello, Largo girl. Yes, I know. I need 71 more subscribers, guys. Come on, let's get that. You're welcome, Joy. Shannon, your card is Be Proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. We are so proud of you. The spirit world wants you to stop right now and listen. We want you to honor the hard work you've done and pat yourself on the back. Whether you've moved through a difficult or painful situation, achieved significant success at work, conquered a new skill, Learned a language, beat your personal beat your personal best in your favorite sport, or simply that you just let go of everything that was holding you back for your highest good. This card is letting you know how vital it is to honor and acknowledge yourself by feeling proud. Pause for a moment and and hold this card and enjoy the moment while you bask in your own pride as you let the warmth of the feeling wash over you. And as you do, you feel the sense of achievement and smile for the whole world to see. Right now, it's all about celebrating your success. Once again, be proud of how far you have come and the faith is how far you can go. That was Shannon Steele's card. <coughs> hey, John, how are you? We are doing awesome. Thank you. Susan Taylor. Susan, T Susan Taylor. That card was amazing. You're very welcome, Shannon.
Yes, John, you may. All right, Susan, are you ready? Susan's card, Serenity. Hello, Micah. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. We here in the spirit world sent you this card to remind you not to feel overwhelmed at this time. Sometimes the answers are not readily available, so it's a matter of living one day at a time, as this will assist you in letting go of the past and all negativity associated with it. The past no longer serves your highest good, and it can prevent you from achieving the serenity that you've been so desperately seeking. You've learned from your past mistakes and the lessons they've shown you. Letting go of what no longer serves you enables us to help you even more. We're aware of the fears and insecurities you may be experiencing right now. When you take the time to let go of the disperse, those unwanted thoughts, divine guidance can find its way to you from spirit, giving you the peace of mind. Find comfort and courage in knowing that you're not alone. We're connected to you forever. And that's Serenity. That was Susan Taylor's card. Carol Binney. You're welcome. That was an awesome card. Carol Binney. Oh. Got a jumper. Pickle juice. Pickle juice is really actually good for you. Does Carol, did Carol say she had to use the bathroom? Oh, yeah, she had to use the loo. So we'll wait for Carol. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Okay. I see a lot of new faces. Or a lot of new names. If you're new, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I do go live from time to time every Friday for sure at 9 p.m. Eastern Central Time to, or Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, sorry, um, to do card readings and usually sometimes spirit box. Um, I also go live at uh, the cemetery sometime. Patricia? Okay, Patricia. Is Carol back yet? Thank you, Ricky Lee. Yep, trying to make that thousand. So I'm so anxious to do a giveaway, guys. So I think I'm like 70 away from that thousand. Okay, Carol, good, you're back. All right, Micah, I'm gonna put you down. All right, Carol.
You're welcome, Micah. All right, Carol. Vulnerability. This is confirmation that you're seeking to... Oops, the chair fell. Okay. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. Spirit Will has selected this card so we could provide you with the confidence to step into that space where you might be feeling vulnerable. Once there, the divine wisdom of spirit will help you find clarity and relax and open your mind to new opportunities. Strength often comes from being vulnerable, as this is where you're able to identify and acknowledge your own limitations and find new ways of doing things you may not have considered before. Once you let go of the fear of vulnerability, which is one of the core obstacles of inner freedom, you will be able to embrace your authentic self and create a stronger connection with yourself as well as your friends and family. This is truly liberating and healing process. The spirit is beckoning you to take the path to find freedom, but when you do, please accept that you won't be automatically that you won't automatically feel vulnerable. It will be your choice. That was vulnerability. That was Carol's card. Kelly Gray. That was a good card, too. That vulnerability one is a really good one. Kelly Gray. You're welcome, Carol. I really like to see a lot of the same faces. You know, that come back and see me. That's really awesome, guys. Heather. Okay, Heather. I'll put you down. You want my chihuahua? <laughs> uh, all right. Kelly Gray. Hey, Lisa Howard. How are you? All right. All right. Here we go, Kelly. Caregiver. Everybody pray for Lisa Howard, guys. She lost her brother yesterday. He had a heart attack. So everybody give Lisa lots of prayers for her and her family. Hey, Helen Davis. All right, Kelly, caregiver. We are with you, and Spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives, just as you receive care and love at the start of your life, caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. You have to, Spirit has chosen this card in all likeliness because you probably already are or have been, a caretake, have been in a caretaker role or you'll shortly start caring for someone you love. This card is a timely reminder to ensure you don't forget yourself in the process. No matter what type of care is being given, whether it is emotional support or more hands-on, it's easy to let all your energy dissipate, leaving you feeling drained, disinterested, or at times feeling down. Remember that we're all made up of energy, and that energy is very precious and delicate and needs to be preserved and honored. Take time for yourself and nurture yourself with self-care, such as massage, meditation, or walks in nature allowing your body, mind, and spirit to open and absorb positive and healthy energy so that when you have to return to care mode, you feel healthy, strong, and revitalized. That was Caregiver, and that was for Kelly Gray.
Aww. Yes, Wendy, I'll throw you down here. Wendy, I already read yours. Or is it somebody else? Let's see. Oh, Linda. Okay. Why did it look like it said Wendy again asking? <laughs> Sorry. Linda, I'll be. Okay, Linda. Yes, you may, Helen. <laughs> okay. Next I have Leslie Childress. Imagination travels. Hey. Yes. All right, so this is Leslie Childress. Awesome, Kelly. Nope, Jessica, you're after Leslie. I have you down on the list right after Leslie. Angela Ruskowski? Sure, I could put you on the list. Remember, if you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button and that little bell to remind you when I go live or release a new video. Thank, thank you in advance. All right, so Leslie Childress. Bobby Clark, okay. Okay. Hello, Victoria Chipper. All right, Helen. It was awesome, yes. Okay, so Leslie Childress, your card is going to be coming up. Hi, Erica Delgado. All right, Leslie, here comes your card. Give back. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectations of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. This card comes forth as a gentle yet timely reminder to give back. The kindness you give or show to another will reinforce that person's belief and faith that there are people who actually care. One simple act of kindness can create a ripple effect that can reach further than you could ever know. Do you remember a time when a random act of kindness changed your life? Such kindness deepens and enlightens the soul and produces rewards far greater than any material again. Look for appropriate opportunities to share your energy and love with someone. A smile a kind act or even a compliment comes from the heart and soul and could be the best thing you could do for yourself today. You may have asked a question about obtaining something, but to prime the pump of abundance and to bring something into your life, it has to work both ways. It's all about giving and receiving. Trust that the universe show, knows of your request and will bring it to you with its own divine timing. Acts of reaching out or giving back can replenish you with discourage or with courage, hope, inspiration, and strength. 
and at times can also provide a new direction. By touching people's lives, you're opening the door to miracles. That was a give back, and that was Leslie Childress's card. It was a nice card. You're very welcome, Leslie. Jessica Joanne, you're next. All right. Oh, congratulations, John. All right, Jessica Joanne. Dream talk. I know this is a really good card. Your, sub your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of those many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. This card signifies that your dreams are trying to communicate with you. Dreams can be confusing as they speak to us in, a, in symbolic images and messages, and even when they appear to have no meaning. They are, in fact, a wonderful, unlimited resource of inner wisdom with a portal for those in spirit to visit you. Right now, you might, you might be saying, but I don't even remember my dreams. In reality, you do dream every night. So try to make conscious effort to, by saying this to yourself before you go to sleep, I will re remember my dreams. When you wake up, but before you get out of bed, write down your dream as well as the feelings it invoked. Together with any images or symbols can you can recall. Soon you will start to become more aware of their language. When your loved ones here in the spirit world appear in your dreams, you will recognize this type of dream because they feel so real. They are trying to tell you how much they love you. Invite your loved ones to visit you in your dreams, but more important, let them know that you that you are ready. Sweet dreams. That was dream talk. That was really good, Jessica Joanne. All right, next we have Katrina Ray. Katrina Ray. You are so welcome, Jessica. And those of you that are new here, please come back and, you know, get readings and check out the videos and, you know. All right, Leslie, you have a good day. Oh, Katrina, do you want the jumper? There was a jumper. Okay. Seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. The spirit world is sending you this card because we feel you may be forgetting that you're multi-dimensional being so we want you to 
we want to remind you that you're a spiritual being as well as a physical being. Now is the time to stop seeing everything on a limited physical level and to seek out the spiritual in all things. Learn to see from your heart and soul. Seek out the spiritual beauty in all things as well as in the people around you. If you're having difficulty understanding someone, try looking beyond what you're seeing in front of you. Layer upon layer of life issues may be, distinct, may be disguising the goodness that's inside that person by making him or her seem mean, resentful, or spiteful. Equally, some individuals may appear aloof or distant, which is a form of protective armor often due to past hurts. It may be hard at first, but know that a divine spirit exists within those people. Pray that goodness in, in you honors the goodness in them, and that the goodness in them honors and goodness within you. And that is Seek, and that was Katrina Ray's card. Awesome, Wendy. That was a good card. All right, John, you ready? John. Oh, there we go. Find your center. You're welcome, Katrina. Your outside, your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? This card is aimed right at you at this vital time for many reasons. It's telling you that you need to slow down and find the center of your being right now. We understand on a physical level that it's easy to get caught up in the materialistic world but we urge you to step back from your outside world so that you can reconnect with the, your spiritual self long enough to pause, reflect, and heal. When life gets chaotic and you need to pull back from the stresses and strains of daily life, use this card to help you slow the pace down. Go within and reconnect with your spiritual self. Simply close your eyes and put your hands over your heart. Breathe deeply and say to yourself, find your center. By doing so, you'll connect with your soul, where you'll discover that you're able to let go and gently relax into the present, releasing all those anxieties. When your inside world is at peace, it will be reflected and enjoyed in your outside world with the balanced body, mind, and soul. And that was John's card. Find your center. I'll be right back, guys. Right back. Just got to run to the restroom real quick.
I see some people are getting deleted their messages. Okay, so <clears throat> it was a good card. Next, I have Patricia Corrine. Corn Corrine. Hi, Miriam. It was a great card, John. So, Patricia, you're next, dear. your card yet hang on oh, there we go yes Miriam I will put you down Patricia, your card is cleanse. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed, needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleaning. Spirit is reaching out with this card to help you cleanse and detoxify your body, mind, and soul. Spiritual cleansing is an excellent way of extracting destructive emotions that, if left untreated, can cause depression, anxiety, and even addiction. This card is proof that you can, make, that you can take time out of your busy life to cleanse. Make a pact with yourself to commit to rejuvenating your mind by practicing positive affirmations every day. One by one, you'll purge the negative thoughts, which will allow you to return to a state of balance and harmony. Drink more water during this time and cleanse your body by reducing toxins such as alcohol, caffeine, nicotine, sugar, and other substances. Take long salt baths and get out into nature so that you can breathe in fresh, clean air. Allow the natural world to infuse your spirit with its healing properties as you cleanse and rebalance your spiritual being as well as a physical being please honor both that was patricia's card okay micah you're next Micah, are you here? Okay. Mara, yes, I can put you down. You're very welcome, Patricia. That's awesome. Todd Lang. Todd Lang wants to be on the list. Is that what you're saying, Katrina? Yeah, I got I got Miriam down. That's yeah. I got Miriam down. Here comes Micah's card. Okay, Micah, here comes your card. Listen.
You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be, compa to be the compassionate listener. To listen fully and intensely means to pay attention, not just to what's being said, but what lies beneath the words. You've heard and listened. We've heard and listened to your request in the past. So we're bringing this card to you because someone around you needs to be heard now. They're not seeking advice, but they really need to express themselves about how they're feeling and what's going on in their life. What they're seeking is an open, compassionate, and non-judgmental listener. When you're intently engaged in conversation, there's even there's an even energy exchange where both parties can benefit. Those who are talking express what they're feeling and just by the process of talking, they will often solve the problem or issue by themselves. Being present and listening to someone who needs your full attention will, in some cases, bring you the answers that you've been seeking for yourself. And that was Listen from Micah. Heather Albee. Heather Albee. Yep, I've got both of them on the list, Kelly. Thank you. All right, Heather. You're welcome, Micah. That's awesome. Here it is, Heather. <laughs> it's fun, huh? <laughs> Heather, relationships. Yes, it's still raining, Katrina. There's uh, lots of Native American stuff in my home. <laughs> All right, relationships. Relationships are just mere images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. We bring you this card for we feel that you may be questioning a certain relationship in your life. This card also signifies that it may be time to evaluate and appreciate the relationships you have now or those from the past, good or bad. Even a difficult relationship can be a surprising spiritual catalytic for you. All relationships, whether they're on an emotional, physical, mental, or spiritual level are part of learning process and enlightenment of the soul. No matter what category a relationship falls into, it acts as a teaching tool for lessons your soul needs to learn. It can help you understand, change, and enhance your individual qualities. Ask yourself, if it was in the past, what did I learn from that relationship? Or if it's a current relationship, ask yourself, what am I learning from this relationship? Different types of relationships have an uncanny way of identifying which aspect of your life needs attention. At times, they reveal your vulnerabilities and insecurities, or you need for your attention, approval, and acceptance. Let this card be the catalyst to either health, a current, situ or a current relationship, or attract more positive relationships for the future. And, th yeah, that was another good card, Relationships. That was Heather Albee's card. Hi, Kim. How are you? All right, Linda Albee.
You're welcome, Heather. Yeah, so the videos that I'm putting out, guys, like part one, there's three parts to that video. That's a three-part series. Ouch, Kim. All right, Linda. Oh, there we go. Linda got vulnerability also. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. We have selected this card so we could provide you with the confidence to step into that space where you might be feeling vulnerable. Once there, the divine wisdom of spirit will help you find clarity and relax and open your mind to new opportunities. Strength often comes from being vulnerable, as this is where you're able to identify and acknowledge your own limitations and find new ways of doing things you may not have considered before. Once you let go of the fear of vulnerability, which is one of the core obstacles of inner freedom, you will be able to embrace your authentic self and create a stronger connection with yourself as well as your friends and family. This is truly liberating and healing process. Spirit is beckoning you to take the path to find freedom. But when you do, please accept that you won't automatically feel vulnerable. It will be your choice. That was uh, Linda Albee's card. Vulnerability. Helen Davison, are you here? Helen Davison. Is Helen Davison still here, guys? Happily ever after? Sure. You're very welcome. You're welcome, Linda. And you're welcome, happily ever after. Sure, Victoria. All right. And did Helen Davison come back yet? You're welcome, Linda. Okay. She went to get dinner. Okay. Well, we can come back to her. So, imagination travels. Are you still here? Imagination travels. All right. Do you want the jumper or you want me to keep shuffling?
Okay. You got to give back. Boy, the spirit world really wants people to give back today. It's the second time. Today is a day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts of or expectations of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. This card comes forth as a gentle yet timely reminder to give back. The kindness you give or show to another will reinforce that person's belief and faith that they are people who really care. One simple act of kindness can create a ripple effect that can reach further than you could ever know. Do you remember a time when a random act of kindness changed your life? Such kindness deepens and enlightens the soul and produces rewards far greater than any material gain. Look for appropriate opportunities to share your energy and love with someone. A smile, a kind act, or even a compliment comes from the heart and soul and could be the best thing that you could do for yourself today. You may have asked a question about obtaining something, but to prime the pump of abundance and to bring something into your life, it has to work both ways. It's all about giving and receiving Trust that the universe knows of your request and will bring it to you as its own divine timing. Acts of reaching out or giving can replenish you with courage, hope, inspiration, and strength, and at times can also provide a new direction by touching people's lives. You're opening the door to miracles. And that was Imagination Travels card. That's a good card, actually. That's a really good card. All right. Angela Ruskowski. Angela Ruskowski. 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 You're welcome. Angela Ruskowski, are you still here? All right, you're next, dear. Am I saying your name right? Is it Ruskowski or Ruskowski? First one or second one? Spirit messages, guys. Ruskowski, okay. All righty. I try with the last names, guys. Sometimes I nail it, sometimes I don't. <laughs> okay. All right, Angela, here comes your card. Let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit, and we will only have your best intentions at heart, and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. We're here to show you that by letting go of your present outcomes, it's sometimes necessary to take an alternative route to your destination in life. Equally, as you navigate a new route, you may find that the ultimate destination changes to one that's for your higher good. Don't ignore signs and symbols that are presented to you at this time, as this is spirit providing directions and pointers to guide you along your journey. Be brave and let go of the plans and ideas that are not working. Trust and follow the energy that is guiding you in a new direction. Energy is like the ebb and flow of the tide, and through a higher awareness, you can tap into that energy and flow with it. Past inhibitions, self-doubts, and confidence issues fade away 
as you let go and trust that spirit will guide you where you need to be. That was let go. That was Angela's card. Hello, text girl. Hello, Sherburn. Okay, she's back. Okay. All right, Helen, you're up next then. Okay, Tex, I'll put you on. Okay. Awesome, Angela. All right, Helen, you're up. Helen soul power when I was reading that last card I seen an orb fly right past me it was quite weird I always remember your soul that comes with a body not a body that comes with a soul your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. Spirit presented you this card to remind you of how powerful you are as a soul. Your outside physical world right now might be hectic and maybe pulling away from what your soul is trying to help you with at this time. The answers you seek may not be for forthcoming uh, from the outside world, but wise wisdom and guidance can be found within. Your soul will often try to get your attention through your dreams and or those little synchronistic intuitive nudges. When you feel these, close your eyes, breathe calmly and deeply and ask your soul guidance with any situation you're experiencing at the moment in time. You may see a picture or symbol or you may experience a feeling or hear a whisper in your mind. Trust what you receive even if the answer is not immediate. Your soul will know how to guide you at this time. Be open to its wisdom and honor how powerful the real you really is. You're welcome, Susan. All right. Have a good day. Yes, I'll be on tomorrow night. Yeah, you guys, my bird is being really loud right now. <clears throat> okay, Bobby Clark. Oh my. Wow. So sorry. All right, Heather. Here's Bobby's card. Synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. Synchronicities are far more than just coincidences. You receive this card as confirmation that you've been experiencing some fascinating and distinctive synchronicities 
And what's more, you may be getting even more of them. These blessings and signs of grace are not just mere coincidences, but are evidence that you are always and will be connected to spirit. When synchronicity appears in your life, it's usually a sign that you should look beyond the normal limitations of the physical and consider the spiritual meaning of what is and what's about to happen in your life. Synchronicity often puts certain people in your path or gives you a particular book. Equally, the same name may be repeated multiple times in a day or a certain workshop or, of course, keeps popping up. The more you notice and pay attention to these meaningful signs of grace, the easier it is for them to multiply and give you spiritual guidance. Synchronicity doesn't just happen. It's a sign for you to stop and take a deep Look at the direction you're taking and the spiritual shift you're making or about to make. Welcome them and act accordingly. The Spirit is trying to help or to guide and help you. That was Bobby, Car Bobby Clark's card, Synchronicity. Miriam. Where's Miriam? Is Miriam still here? Hi, Tormented Soul. I'm good. How are you? Hi, Christina. You're fine. Miriam, where are you? Tell him you're, that he's welcome, Heather. Hi, Earth Angel. So I've got a few more to do, guys, and then uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to do some, uh, um, I'm going to use my dowsing rods, get, let you guys um, ask some questions. Okay, Micah, you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Miriam, is Miriam still here? Okay, Mara, is Mara still here? Mara? Is anybody seeing these people? Mara? Todd Lang? Thank you, Angela. All right, Christina. Okay, Todd's there. Okay. All right, Todd. Your card's coming up. Yeah, I don't know. You know, the thing is, that, you know, people get on the list and then they get pretty impatient because um, there's, you know, there could be a long list. Um, I, that's why I always tell everybody, please be patient. And I appreciate when everybody is patient, you know. All right, Todd, here comes your card. Embrace the moment.
Embrace this day, this is very this very moment. Think positive today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. Spirit has given you this card right now, for we can feel the negative thoughts you're having about others as well as yourself. We need to understand that life can get you down and all the hard work you do every day is to is support yourself and others can be challenging. Don't let the outside world tarnish or dilute your brilliance. Remember all the all thought creates reality and the situations in your life. Even thoughts are made up of energy, whether they're positive or negative. And when you think a thought, your aura will amplify it with energy and put it out into the universe. By monitoring your thoughts, you'll hit conscious control and shaping your day as well as your future learn to embrace the moment if you have a cup of tea just drink your tea if you're enjoying a meal then just eat your meal if you're walking then just walk appreciate focus and be in the moment of what you're doing by doing so you'll remain into the, you'll remain into the powerful present okay all right miriam you're next this is todd's card All right, Miriam, are you ready? Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, I never really polished my nails, but I did see a nail polish that I really liked, and I had to get it. <laughs> All right, so Miriam, you're up. Um, that's actually in my dining room on the other side of the house. <laughs> All right, this is Miriam's card. You are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. This card comes at a time when you're probably missing someone, feeling lonely or lost, or not getting the emotional or spiritual help you truly need from those around you. Even though you may be feeling abandoned, don't forget that we are here for you, holding you, guiding you, and helping you through your grief and sadness. It is we who raise you up and gently push you forward. Please remember that we are spirit discarnate, not of body. You are a spirit incarnate in the body. And as such, we are all spirit. You can connect to us anytime you wish. Find a quiet time where you can be by yourself in this favorite space. Light a candle, hold us in your mind, and reach out with your heart and thoughts. When you feel a gentle, warm wave of love wash over you, a tingle up your spine, or even a special thought or image, know that these are all signs and we're connected and we love you always. And that was You Are Not Alone. That was Miriam's card. Okay. Got gotcha, you, Kim. And right at this moment, Eli, I'm not on my computer, so I cannot add mods from my tablet, so we'll have to be at another time, I'm so sorry. Tomorrow night I will be on my computer, so if you're in there, Eli. All 
All right, so happily ever after, you're next. Happily ever after. All right. Happily ever after, believe. The force that works through your soul determining what's possible or impossible. The difference between success and failure and above all who you are is the power of your belief. This card should prompt you to evaluate your beliefs and thoughts processes. This could be a time when self-doubts and negative thoughts from the past conditioning come to the surface and prevent you from moving forward. While, someone, while some people believe in a higher power greater than themselves, others sadly believe they're alone and that it's all about survival. In the more severe cases, some individuals just walk aimlessly upon this planet and will be the defeatist attitude, accepting whatever comes their way. Your spiritual, emotional, and physical well-being, your present and future relationships, your work or career can all be affected by past conditioning. When issues remain omnipresent in your life, it's time to take a critical look at your own belief system. Certain beliefs combined with the energy of your thoughts could be major factors that influence your life. Change your perception and alter your negative thoughts to positive affirmations. And by consciously acknowledging that spirit is running through you and that you're meant to live a happy, abundant life, you experience your days on earth the way that you were meant to as a divine being. That was Happily Ever After's card, Believe. Victoria Shipper. Is Victoria still here? All right, Victoria. Oh, we got a jumper. Did you guys see a jump? You want the jumper, Victoria? Welcome back, Kelly. Victoria, did you want the jumper? Did you want the card the spirit picked for you? Alrighty. Breathe. The breath is a vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and outside. Connecting you to the universe, spirit, and the divine source. The breath permits you to your entire being with prana, which is at the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. This card is a sign that you put a stop to those racing thoughts. The sudden flare-ups of anger or the worry of anxiety that are robbing you of your precious energy. When your body is depleted of prana, it will show signs of feeling tired and unwell. This is the, this is when the breath must come first. So when you find yourself saying, why am I looking fatigued or feeling stressed and out of balance? Stop for a moment and evaluate the way in which you've been breathing recently. If you've been breathing with shallow, restricted, short breaths, it's more than likely that you're holding on to or suppressing 
emotions and feelings. We ask you at this time to take a few deep conscious breaths and allow life-giving energy and vitality to enter your body. By doing so, your body, mind, and soul will have a chance to pause and gain some inner clarity, calmness, and direction. Make your breathing a part of your everyday awareness and eventually you'll wonder how many how you managed to survive before you started paying attention to it. That was breathe. That was Victoria's card. Awesome, Victoria. Text girl, text girl, are you still here? Text girl still here? You're very welcome, Victoria. Text girl. Has anybody seen text girl? Is text girl still here, guys? All right, moving on. Christina, are you still here? You are very, 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 very welcome. All right, Christina, you're up next, dear. Christina, support. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on. While others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. Spirit brings you this card because we understand how much support you're in need of at this precise time. Take a good look around you and ask yourself, are the people in my life supporting me and encouraging me to learn and grow? Every relationship is about giving and receiving, and there should always be an even exchange of energy, one of give and take. If you're feeling drained, it's a clear indication that you're not in alignment with someone or even a group. Surround yourself with those who will help you be all you can be. Everyone's needs, everyone needs support. We're here for you, encouraging you to reach out and find like-minded souls, a support group or an awareness class to share your goals, aspirations, and spiritual experiences. By doing so, others will learn from you at the same time. Find the support you need and you will see how your soul will soar. That was uh, Christina's card, support. Kim Wall. I have Kim Wall and then I'm gonna do some, um, I'm gonna do some um, dowsing rods. So if you guys have questions, start thinking of them. Start thinking of some questions. All right, Kim. Yeah, you know, Eli, the thing is, I, if, if I'm bored, if it's a nasty day, or if it's even a nice day, if I'm bored, I will bust out my cards and read, <laughs> do some readings. All right, Kim, here comes your card right now. A father's love. A 
A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unqual unquantifiable in uh, that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or has passed, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. A father's love is reaching out to you in support. By, by the, a spirit selecting this card, it's signifying your need for strength and support. The love for a father or father figure offers great strength, but even if your father has passed, his influence, support, and love remains eternal. Just as important, spirit can wrap his or their arms um, of love around you when you most need it. Even if your father is still here, his love, no matter how many miles you're apart, can be felt. The beauty of a father's love is no matter what the circumstance, his love is unwavering and compassionate, forgiving, purposeful, and full of energy and strength. Whenever you feel alone or lost, whenever you feel misguided or lacking in confidence, just stop for a moment and let the love of your father or father figure give you the comfort or guidance that you need. That's awesome, Christina. My husband's mumbling up there in the kitchen, guys. What? <laughs> Alright guys, you guys got some questions in mind that we are going to. I'm doing good, good Cherry, how are you? We're going to use the dowsing rods now guys. If you guys have some questions. <laughs> I was playing with these yesterday. It was pretty interesting. All right. <clears throat> All right. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. Kim Wall wants to know if her mother is with her. That would be a yes, Kim. <laughs> All right. Center, please. Center. Center, please. Carol Binney wants to know if, is dear Mary with her? Carol Binney wants to know if Mary is with her. That's a yes. Center, please. Earth Angel, center please. Earth Angel wants to know if she'll get the settlement from the city of Surrey. Let's uh, say yes. Center, please. Center, please. Kim Wall wants to know if her grandson will beat leukemia. I'll 
ask it again. Center, please. Kim Wall wants to know if her grandson will beat leukemia. It's, uh, it's unsure. It's not, it's not saying that he's not, Kim, but we will be praying, okay? Center, please. Sorry, Kim, I couldn't, sorry I didn't give you a better answer. Center, please. Kelly Gray would like to know if her daughter Amber is going to have more children. Yes, Kelly. Center, please. Center, please. Center please. Carol Binney wants to know if her mom and dad are with her. That's a yes, Carol. Center, please. Center, please. Oh, center, please. Center, please. They're just going crazy right now, guys. Center, please. Center. Miriam wants to know if they have enough time to go filming in the USA still walking. That would be a yes. Center. Center, please. Christina Kapanen. Wants to know if her stalker will find a way to hurt her physically. That would be a no. That would be a no, Christina. You're welcome, Carol. Oh, so sorry to hear that, Miriam. Center, please. Victoria Shipper wants to know if her husband is going to cheat on her again. Well, it said yes, but could be wrong, Victoria. <laughs> Let's hope, right? Let's ask it again. <laughs> Center, please. Center. Victoria Shipper. Center, please. Victoria Shipper wants to know if her husband is going to cheat on her again. Okay, I did a yes again. Sorry, Victoria. Okay. Center, please. Linda Alby would like to know. Center, please. Linda Alby would like to know if it's okay with Dave Alby for us to get Paula stuffed. That went right into yes. I, I'm here, text girl. Do you have a question? Center, 
center face. <laughs> Sorry, text girl. Do you have a question or two, text girl, that you want to ask? Okay. Center place. Center place. Center. Carol Binney wants center, please. Carol Binney wants to know if her auntie Ina is with her. I hope it's wrong too, Earth Angel. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen text girl here, Kelly. Center, please. Miriam wants to know, do they get grandchildren? That would be a yes. Go. Cleo, move. I said go. All right. Center, please. Center, please. Center. Helen Davidson, Helen Davison would like to know if Simon Hawkins is with her. That went right into a yes. Center, please. Center, please. Center. Katrina want Katrina Ray wants to know if King's spirit is with her. That went right into a yes, Katrina. <laughs> yeah, Antonio said hey. Center, please. Center, please. Anybody else have any questions? Is um, text girl still here? <laughs> Is a uh, text girl still here? Okay. I didn't when I called her name I didn't see her at all. I mean I felt bad. <laughs> okay, Carol. Center please. Center. Center please. Carol Binney wants to know if she will ever find a man. Took a while, but went to yes. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. All right, text girl. You guys, really quickly, I'm going to do a reading for text girl since I did call her before and she, something's, something must be going on with her computer. So text girl, I'm going to read you a card real quick, okay? No, you're fine. It's, it's not your fault, text girl. And I will get right back to you guys as questions, okay? Let me let me take care of text girl here, okay? I'm going to take care of all my peeps, believe me. All my fans, I love you guys all to death, so. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> you got light. Imagine yourself as being composed of energy and light because in reality, that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. The spirit world presents this card to you to remind that some people are attracted to light while others emanate it. And you are a powerful beacon and as, you, as a result, you have the ability to attract what you desire. Thoughts are like rays of light made up from energy that disperse into the universe, but eventually get returned to us. Ask yourself, how have my thoughts been lately? Have they been positive or negative? It's worth remembering that you will often find what you're thinking about or looking for. You also have the power to use the brilliance to protect yourself from people or situations that might be causing you disharmony. Visualize yourself surrounded by a protective layer of brilliance, white light, which allows only positive people and situations to enter into your space and life for highest good. You're a shining soul, and we here in the spirit world see your light and know you have the power to even more than you who you are, the spiritual being with unlimited potential. And that was light. That was text girl's card. That was a really good one, text girl. That was an awesome card. Okay. I know I missed a bunch of questions. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Center, please. Center, please. Center. Center, please. Okay. Miriam wants to know. <laughs> If you'll ever find a woman. Huh? Yes. Yes, Miriam. All right. Ah. Okay. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. <sighs> We're going crazy right now. Center, please. Okay, Christina would like to know if she has any half siblings from her dad's travels.
It's saying yes, Christina. Center, please. Center, please. Heather Albee wants to know if her relationship with Bobby Clark is going to last and be a happy one. Yes, that would be a yes, Heather. Okay, Katrina Ray's center, please. Center, center, please. Katrina Ray wants to know if she'll ever get married. Katrina Ray wants to know if she'll ever get married. It's touching. Katrina Ray, it's it's un it's not quite sure. Oh, your ex left you because you're sick? That's so sad, Miriam. I'm sorry. Oh. Angela. Okay. Center, please. Center, please. Angela Rakowski. Center, please. Angela Rakowski would like to know if she will get her dream car. That would be a yes. Hopefully, huh? Yay. If you get that dream car, let me know. <laughs> right. Hmm. You know what? Actually, I heard that that uh, pretzel stuffed crust pizza at Little Caesars is awful. <laughs> Hi, Karina. <laughs> oh, I was asking this stuff. I asked so many questions yesterday to this. Unbelievable. I even asked if I was going to win the lottery. You know what it told me? No. And then I asked, is my YouTube channel going to be successful? It did say yes. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys. Can you ask if I'm ever going to find happiness? I can do that. Center, please. <laughs> Center, please. Center. Center, please. <sighs> Center, please. These things are just going crazy. Center, please. Center, please. Tormented soul would like to know if they're ever going to find happiness. Yes, tormented soul. All right. Huh? Okay. 
Center, please. Center, please. Center. Katrina Ray wants to know if she will ever win the lotto. Katrina, no. <laughs> you got the same answer I did. Center, please. Okay, let's see here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Center, please. Center, please. Carol Binney wants to know if she will ever make it to Georgia in America. That would be a yes, Carol. Center, please. Hey, you want to have a picnic? Okay, center please. Text girl wants to know if her mother is in heaven. That's a yes. That's a yes, text girl. My dog has the hiccups, guys. It is so funny. I have a big Rottweiler running around with a toy stick, a chew toy sticking out of her mouth with the hiccups. Okay. Okay. Center. Center, please. Center. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. What's going on with these? Center, please. Center, please. Okay. Center, please. He was. Kim Wall wants to know if she will ever find happiness. Will Kim Wall find happiness? That'd be a yes, Kim. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. Carol Binney wants to know, is Mary Craig and mom and dad in heaven? That went right into a yes. Miriam would like to know if you'll have more than 25 subscribers soon. That's a yes. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. Eli would like to know if you'll ever get to visit the Mexico beaches. That would be a yes. You're welcome, tormented soul.
Okay. Okay. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. Center. Center, please. Angela, Angela Raskowski wants to know if her business will be ready by May. That would be yes. Sorry, guys, I have to stop my comments to... Okay, Anna. Center, please. Miriam wants to know if his dad's in heaven with no more pain. That's a yes. Center, please. Heather Alby wants to know if her dad is with her a lot. That'd be a yes. Okay, I'm going to let uh, Lisa Howard pick um, a couple more questions and then uh, I'm going to call it quits because I'm starting to feel a little bit drained, guys. Actually, not just a little, a lot. Lisa Howard, if you can pick a couple questions for me, please. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. Karina's? Okay. Karina would like to know, is her brother with my babies, with her babies. Is her brother with her babies? Yes. Thank you, Judith. I'm doing well, thank you. Center, please. You're welcome, Karina. Center, please. Hello, Cuddly Kathy. Cuddly Kathy would like to know if she should move to Las Vegas in March. That was like a complete yes right away. <laughs> okay, one more, Lisa. One more. You're welcome. I am leaving soon, guys. I'm starting to feel my, my energy is really starting to drain and it's draining fast. Center, please. You're welcome, guys. Eli wants to know, 
center please Eli wants to know if he'll ever drive again after his surgery That would be a yes. All right, guys. Yes, I used to live in Las Vegas, Cuddly Kathy. I lived on the east side over by Sam's Town Casino, like right down the block from it. I answered a lot of questions for you, Carol. What was the other question? Oh, she wants to, okay. I got, you. I'll do that one real quick. It's the last one guys, okay? Okay, Carol, here it comes. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. Center, please. Okay, center. Center, please. Center. Carol Binney would like to know if she's going to go to heaven when she dies. That went right into a yes, Carol. Okay, guys, I am feeling super drained. And I'm going to go have me something to eat. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate all you guys being here. You're very welcome. You're welcome, you guys. I will be on tomorrow evening, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget, every Friday. All right, guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys for all of your support. Share with your friends, your family. Let's get it up to 8,000. All right. Love you guys. Bye.